One of the oldest aircraft employed by the United States Navy on its aircraft carriers will soon be bidding us farewell. The turboprop-decked decked C-2A Greyhound, produced by Northrop Grumman in the 1960s, will be replaced by the CMV-22B, which will enter service in 2024. In today's video, we are going to cover the technical features and advantages the CMV-22B has over its predecessor. The first American aircraft with tilting propellers, also known as a tilt rotor, which combines the vertical takeoff capability of helicopters with the speed of a turboprop aircraft, was initially introduced by Bell. This is specifically the experimental model XV-3, which made its first flight in 1955. The tests were regarded as a success. Thus, based off of this piece, two more tilt rotor XV-15s were developed for test purposes, which formed the basis for the legendary V-22 Osprey. The program for creating a new generation tilt rotor was first called JVX, like the plane itself. The nickname Osprey was only awarded in 1985, four years after its creation. Full-scale development began in 1986, when Bell was granted a $1.7 billion contract to build the V-22. At that point, four branches of the US military had already made plans to purchase the latest tilt rotor. However, development of the project was not only lengthy, but also controversial due to the increased cost. The $1.7 billion budget grew to $2.5 billion and then to an astronomical 30 billion in 1988. By 2007, more than 27 billion had been spent and another 27.2 billion was required to churn out the planned set of V-22s. The project did not freeze, however, and was subsequently improved. Therefore, by 2009, the average cost of a flight hour had decreased by 20% or $9,520 to be exact. Come 2017, this had increased to $11,500, taking into account inflation. Nevertheless, these numbers were still more pleasing than, for example, the Sikorsky CH-53E, whose flight hours cost taxpayers more than $20,000. On the other side of things, a single flight hour with the V-22 still costs almost twice as much as a Blackhawk which is set at 6,070. To date, Bell has made over a dozen different modifications to the Osprey. We are going to take a closer look at one of the most relevant, the CMV-22B cargo version of the tilt rotor, which threatens to replace the carrier-based transport aircraft Grumman C-2 Greyhound. The main purpose behind the new modification of the CMV-22B is Carrier Onboard Delivery COD, which is essentially the transport of strategic supplies, urgent cargo, mail, and of course personnel onto aircraft carriers. The cargo can weigh up to 6,000 pounds and the number of passengers is set at 23, in addition to the four crew members also on board the craft. The military highly values the compact nature of the Osprey, since the model is able to quickly fold its wings and therefore occupy minimal space on the lower hangar deck. In regards to the innovative features contained within the model, especially in comparison with the standard version of the V-22 Osprey, it is worth noting the enlarged tanks, which contain more fuel, enough for the tilt rotor to fly over distances of up to 1,323 miles. However, such a large fuel supply required improvements to the wings so that they could withstand the increased weight. In addition to the increase in flight range, the CMV-22B was also equipped with a brand new radio system for over-the-horizon communication, as well as an upgraded warning system. But the question is, Will these improvements to the Osprey be sufficient enough to completely replace the C-2 Greyhound? Let's find out! It would be best to start with a comparison between the CMV-22B and the C-2. During the entire operating period of the Greyhound, since 1966, only 58 such aircraft have been produced. While over the 31 years of utilizing the Osprey, the number of convertiplanes launched from the assembly line is 400 units in 2020 alone. 
What's more, that production pace is only speeding up. According to the team responsible for the development of the new modifications to the CMV-22B, it will be able to perform the full range of tasks that the C-2 aircraft normally covers down on. Among said tasks, the transportation of strategic cargo, VIP personnel, humanitarian aid missions and delivery of food, spare parts, and equipment for sailors located on board aircraft carriers. In order to facilitate more comfortable transportation of the wounded, the tilt rotor received a reconfigurable cargo compartment that can accommodate up to 12 stretchers. In regards to the cargo, the Osprey looks to be more efficient than the Greyhound, not only concerning dangerous missions, but also for general loading and unloading of cargo loads and working at night. The increased rates of transporting provisions, equipment, and weapons at nighttime significantly increase the combat survivability of transport aircraft delivering to aircraft carriers, mostly due to the fact that aircraft operating at night make harder targets for potential hostiles. Additionally, operating at night implies the use of the latest avionics, sensors, and instruments for better orientation in rapidly changing conditions, as well as landing in the event of a storm. The C-2 cannot, unfortunately, boast of such capabilities. Regarding ease of use, the tilt rotor also surpasses its iron counterpart. First off, takeoff from an aircraft carrier does not require the use of a catapult and landing the Osprey does not need nearly as much preparation as the Greyhound does. Not to mention, the pivot propeller design possesses a much wider range of maneuvers than the classic C2 propeller system. Developed with the Cato Bar COD in mind, the CMV-22B brought the Navy something that neither the C2 nor any other device could offer. Previously, supplies for other ships, including LHD, LHA, and LPD had to be sent to the carrier, unloaded, sorted out, then reconfigured all over again to send via helicopter or by the unrep method, only to then be transferred to the final ship using the vertrep or the same unrep. As for the CMV-22B, it can easily deliver supplies straight to the ship in question. This, of course, is under the assumption that said ship is capable of bearing the heavy rotary wing craft. The payload capacity of the CMV-22B takes transport capabilities to the next level. According to Robin Laird, an American military analyst and security specialist, the CMV-22B can carry F-135 engines, made for the F-35B and F-35C fighters. The C-2 cannot do this. He has also stated that in 2015, he himself witnessed the delivery of an F-35C engine on board the USS Wasp by a tilt rotor just to demonstrate its abilities. To equip the Greyhound with such a feature, the US Air Force would have to shovel much more effort and money than potentially needed to modernize and acquire the latest Osprey modifications. To convert the standard Osprey to the CMV-22B USMC version, however, requires only minor changes. Another important aspect of the Osprey's advantage is that over the past 20 years, V-22 losses have been much lower compared to other US combat aircraft. The problems encountered with earlier versions of the Osprey have been resolved, and the safety record is excellent. This is especially apparent in comparison with the predecessor of the V-22, the CH-46 helicopter. According to the US military, the transition of C-2A pilots to CMV-22B is carried out in two specific stages, all as part of the USN Tilt Rotor Syllabus Training Program, which was specifically designed for them. To date, the Navy's VRM-30 multi-purpose squadron has already trained several crews, and conducted flight tests on board the USS Carl Vinson. VRC-40 and VRC-50 also sent their C-2A crews for development and further training in tilt rotor control in both North Carolina and Hawaii. In reference to the C-2's benefits, senior aviation electronics technician and VRM-30 QA leader, Randy Hogue, said that over the six years of service, Greyhound realized what exactly gave the C-2 such a long-term service. Its ease of maintenance. 
A similar thought was expressed by the former commander of the VRC-40, Adam N. Angry Heel, who spent more than 3,500 hours at the helm of the C-2A. He stated that he could rely fully on the experience of the technician servicing the Grumman E-2 Hawkeye aircraft, due to the interchangeability of their parts with those of the Greyhound. He also brought to attention the C-2A's ease of handling, calling it impressive. According to Hale, the aircraft's intuitive handling and lack of things that could go awry always made it a reliable option. Retorting Hale's words, Marine Colonel Matthew Kelly recalled being sent to Iraq in 2008, when the Bell Boeing MV-22 Osprey showed up in theater. He stated that the tilt rotor was a breakthrough, opening the eyes of many pilots when they realized how much the Osprey simplified combat missions, thus radically changing the course of battle. Suddenly, the entire flight schedule was packed to capacity, and not a single senior officer wanted to move anywhere if he could not do it in the cockpit of an MV-22. Kelly also emphasized the importance of comfort in flight, comparing the V-22 to the C-130 Hercules. Since the tilt rotor flies at a comparable speed, but without the typical vibration and shaking inherent in a conventional helicopter, the full deployment of the CMV-22B is set to take place this year, and the Navy's program includes 48 units, although thus far we are looking at the purchase of 44. Taking into account production, the cost of a single device is approximately $110 million. But only time will tell if the expensive CMV-22B can become the logistical revolution that the Navy is expecting it to be. What are your thoughts about the concept of this transforming helicopter? Will it really be able to outdo the C2 Greyhound? Let us know in the comments! And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like and hit that subscribe button, so you don't miss out on more content. Thank you, and we'll see you in the next video.